Step one, remove the label from the sheet. Step two, adhere to a clean, dry dish using clean hands. Press label firmly and ensure that there is full contact with the dish surface. Step three, run through wash and final rinse cycles. Step four, the gray or white temperature sensitive element will turn black if the dish has reached the rated temperature. Step five, allow to cool to the touch before slowly peeling the label off the test surface to avoid leaving adhesive residue. To make sure your thermal label doesn't come off in the rinse cycle, you need to make sure it's placed on your dish properly. The label must be affixed to the surface that is being sanitized. Placing a label on the dishwasher would only serve to verify that the rack was sanitized, clearly not the purpose of the test. Affix the thermal label to a clean, dry dish or glass to verify that your dish is being sanitized. Press firmly and ensure that no air is trapped beneath the label. Make sure that the surface is clean. Food debris beneath the label can alter its effectiveness. If the dish is greasy, the label can slide right off. Do not place the label loose in the dishwasher because the result will not be accurate. A common scenario that results in an incorrect reading is when the label fails to adhere to the dish due to the dish being greasy or dirty. It falls off during the cycle and a restaurant employee picks it up loose out of the dishwasher at the end of the cycle. They pick it up and say, the square turned black, my dishes are reaching the correct temperature. What has actually happened is that the label came loose and then read the temperature of the water, not the dish. Because of this, you have no idea if the dish was sanitized or not. 